Hello everyone, Michael here, and today I'm going to show you how to manually install NVIDIA drivers in Ubuntu. Now, there's a few things I do want to point out here, and it's kind of a disclaimer. I'm going to be using the, as of this recording of this video, the absolute latest from NVIDIA, which is the 313.09 beta drivers. These are beta for a reason. Something might go screwy and you'll see it in this video. I'll explain what it is at the end. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. All right, I do want to point out real quick that you can still install the latest drivers from Canonical for 12.04 uh, users. It's just searching for additional drivers. But for 12.10 uh, users, it's go to software updater wait for it to go through its thing to update go to settings give it a little bit more time so it can get the additional driver stuff and go to additional drivers tab and for both users the latest one is nvidia experimental 310 that's what's currently available for canonical and like i said this is the ones i'm using for this tutorial is the 313.09 so, first things first is to download the drivers. Now, I already link, linked and have this all set up, the 313.09. If you want this, I'll put the link in the description below. And all you do is hit download, which I have already done, so I don't have to do this. And the NVIDIA drivers should come as a run file and we'll just go off from there now open up a terminal by doing terminal from the dash or using the shortcut of control alt T from there you want to put in sudo gedit slash etc slash modprobe.d slash blacklist.config put in your password And in GET, go to the very bottom of the page and add these. Blacklist AMD 76X underscore EDAC. That should be there by default. But the ones that you want is Blacklist space VGA 16FB. Blacklist Neurovu. Blacklist space RevAFB. Blacklist NVIDIA FB and Blacklist RAVA TV. I'll have these in the description below. So save and exit. And the last thing you want to do before restarting the computer and everything is do sudo apt get remove purge NVIDIA. And what that does is pretty much it will get anything that's related to NVIDIA and remove it. Now, since I've already done this, uh, I'll just go ahead and restart my computer, and I'll see you at that point. All right. Well, I do apologize in advance for uh, recording like this, but I do not have any recording software for anything like this, and I'm well aware I could use VMware, but I think it's better just to use actual hardware. So here we are at the login screen. So what you want to do is... Do control alt F1. And what we have here is the command line. This is what happens when you do control alt F1. Now, I do want to point out that it is accessible when you are logged in, but it really, it's best just to do it outside logging because once you do the control F1, you have to go through the entire process all over again. There we go. All right. So, first things first, we got to turn off uh, light DM, or at least, or the, uh, I believe what's called the graphics manager. Either way, just do a sudo service light DM stop.
to enter. And now it's stopped. So now we, we can continue. Now I'm assuming here that you guys have downloaded the installer from and it's in the downloads folder on your system. If not, uh, you can if it's located somewhere that's convenient. Uh, there's a shortcut, but uh, for now, I'm going to do CD squiggly. I'm going to call it that because I don't know what it is. Slash downloads. And let's just list. All right, so it's there. So let's go ahead and enable the installer. Now, technically, um, when you start it, you would just have a command not found. Well, the reason why is because it's not set to to act as an application. So to do that, we do ch ch mod plus x and nv, and you can hit tab to auto fill, and it will just go ahead and put in the rest rest to what it's assuming is this. And hit enter. Now it's enabled to run. So now just do sudo dot slash and v tab and hit it. Alright, now this is the license things. Ooh, that's pretty bright. So pretty much just say you accept. So let it go ahead and install, let it do all its stuff. And right here it says, would you like to run the NVIDIA config utility to automatically update your X configuration file, yada, yada, yada. So pretty much just say yes. And that's how you pretty much install it. So just to make sure everything is all set, let's go ahead and do and reboot this thing. So let's do do sudo shutdown minus r now and we'll go ahead and uh, proceed to restart your computer now there are ways to know if the graphics card is being used right if the uh, the first thing is if the resolution is going or is the right resolution it's installed another way to know is if you see like for a nanosecond see the Nvidia that's then that means it's already installed but usually sometimes something goes wrong oh yep see see that little Nvidia and as you can see the resolution is perfect and let's go ahead and log in And there you go. And that's how you install uh, NVIDIA drivers manually. All right, so early in the video, I said that I updated the system and to make a guess, you guys saw the resolution error. Now, while it was good for me just for the sake of this tutorial, I was pretty shocked to see that happening. So the best that I could come up with and like I said, I'm not a Linux expert, but to what I understood, there was an update for Linux kernel or Linux headers. So to what I imagine was since I updated the the kernel or headers, the drivers was set to that one specific thing and things just got a little screwy. Or there must have been like a low graphical thing in that update that may have uh, kicked the current driver installation out again I'm not entirely sure but for whatever reason it probably is one of those beta things if you guys know what may have caused that put it in the comments below uh, other than that I'll see you guys next time